Greetings and welcome. I've received several emails requesting how a circuit using a constant current source circuit can use an NPN transistor instead of a PNP transistor. I will walk you through the process in this video. My name is Lewis Laughlin. Please visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's begin. For argument's sake, okay, here's Q1. This is a PNP transistor. I'm going to argue for this discussion that Q1 has an HFE of 20. That's the DC gain. I'm going to assume that through my string of LEDs that I'm sending 500 milliamps. So the collector current of Q1 is the same thing as the current through the string of LEDs. We set that at 500 milliamps. With an HFE of 20 to get the base current from base uh, emitter to base, we would have to divide 500 milliamps by 20 and that's 25 milliamps. So I have 25 milliamps moving through the emitter base circuit of Q1. That 25 milliamps is set by an LM317 configured as a constant current source. And that current level of 25 milliamps will be set by a resistance. The pot and the resistor here, I will call them total R total. And that's derived by dividing 1.25 volts, that's the reference that they use, divided by 25 milliamps is 50 ohms. So you could put a fixed 50 ohm resistor in here, or you can put a, say, a 50 ohm pot and a 20 ohm, uh, uh, 10 ohm resistor, however you want to do it. Just remember this, the formula on how this works. So that's how you would use a PNP transistor. How would we use an NPN? Let's take a look. Here's the circuit instead using an NPN transistor for Q1. I'm still going to assume a collector current and an LED current of 500 milliamps. I'm going to set Q1 again with an HFE of 20. And once again, I will need an IB of 500 milliamps divided by 20 equals 25 milliamps. Our total, which once again will be these two resistors, is 1.25 volts divided by 25 milliamps and 50 ohms. Notice the only difference is where Q1 is placed using a PNP transit and you notice that the current is derived directly from the source through the LM317 to the base emitter circuit of Q1, the NPN transistor. That's the only difference. If you have, a, if you have something you want to keep in the collector circuit and use it like this, particularly with LEDs, this would work fine. But that's all it is. You just It's where you place the transistor is the only real difference. And every assuming that the transistors have the same HFE and so forth. And that's all there is to it. I hope that answered the question. Thanks for um, viewing the video. And visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com.